Uh, as cultures continue to integrate, do you agree that our palette of vocabulary would naturally expand, just as English itself Ooh. has historically observed other words and expressions? What was the beginning again? As our culture continues to integrate, do you mm. agree that our palette and vocabulary will naturally expand as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, it already has so much, uh, you know, colloquialisms and slang and cultural responses become, especially with the Internet, mm -hmm. things become so quickly uh, absorbed. And the first place we look for what's cutting edge, what's hot, what's cool, what what are the most vibrant what is the most vibrant expression? We're going to look to arts for that. We're going to look to music. We're going to look to poetry. We're going to look to uh, visual arts to sort of pull out what is what is brand new. Um, it, you know, at the same time, I think uh, I'm I'm of the of the mind that there aren't too many new ideas. Right when it comes down to it, um, we're all writing about our own broken hearts, our losses, our wins. Uh, we're writing about who are we, what is this body, uh, what am I doing here? You know, we all come back to that. But yeah, I think, especially as cultures merge and grow and with, you know, I keep saying this, but it's, it's so prevalent with internet culture. Mm -hmm. There's, I mean, there's words in the last six months that seem to have been made up that I'm now using regularly. Sure. Yeah. The first that come to mind are usually I am speak like LOL. JK, yep. things like that. Yeah. Which I don't think that'll ever be integrated. In our I don't let people use that in their assignments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it. But so you're hearing right. it in songwriting yeah, now. You like are. They're definitely, definitely. In, in songs. And, and I think there's a, there's a place for that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, I think there's a place both for using that and for commenting on that. Mm. Right? A part of our job as writers is to keep track of what's happening in society. Right? So the reason... Current. Yeah, I mean, the reason we know about so much that happened um, in wars and in genocides and in in ages past is because we're Same looking at what it. Picasso was painting. Mm -hmm. You know, we're looking at what Yeats was writing about. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be looking, you know, our future generations will be looking to that. So, yeah, I think we almost have a responsibility, too.